right, so we just got done with the driver's meeting. We're gonna walk up here and see kind of how the cones are laid out. Uh, you get about 500 feet to get up to 60, 65 mile an hour, and then there's a coned area right here that uh, you gotta go to. Uh, you gotta get 665, and then anywhere in that area, if they see you matched up with the other car, they can click the green light and send you. Uh, and then the tree will actually be beyond those cones. So as you guys can see here, you got kind of where you'd normally run, but you'll be coming through here about 60, 65, and anywhere in that coned area, if you're matched up, they can go ahead and trigger. There's a guy that'll sit up in the stands, and when he sees you guys matched up at like 60, 65, he'll click the green, and then we go from there, and then it's like 700 foot or something past the, uh, the original drag strip there is where the new finish line will be. All right, guys, so we got through the driver's meeting. The car is ready to go. Get nice put in it right now and made a few little adjustments to it to set it up for the roll race deal. So hopefully it all goes well, but we're about to find out here in a few minutes. Just getting some ice thrown in there. Got it circulated around, so this is the first time we've actually had ice even in the car, so <laughs> hopefully it all, uh, all goes well here. Should be good to go. All right, here we go. We're in the lanes, getting ready to uh, make our very first hit ever. So it uh, made a full pull, everything looked good. So as long as he makes it back, we should be happy. Good. You went way early. You left way, way early. You're messing with us, kids, though. It was me and I jumped? Yeah, they said you left early. But maybe he was that late, too. So who knows? Maybe he was trying to patient and then you took off. It's all good. We'll see what happens next time. Yeah, because he wasn't. Yeah. It's all good. What do you mean? Where you think you're at 65 in? I was just trying to hold it, so I was kind of pacing. Just pacing him, him, not my own. Yeah, sure, sure. sure. Bull, and it goes bull. The second, and I wasn't even. Up, so you didn't got to be in second. Get up on my RPM. So we need to raise our first, like on it. But even on the top, it just kind of like. It kind didn't of feel like it was just so, crazy bulls. No, it went 166 something. So that's good. We went. Uh, See here, right lane, 166 and a half. So that uh, that'll work. We'll look over that and see what we can do to add some to it. That's not bad for our first start. No, nope. I'll take it. That's better than I thought we were gonna do. And so we ended up going 166 on the first pass. Ended up bringing the boost ramp in a little bit sooner and put another four on top of the gate. So hopefully we can see a 170 mid 170 pass. Would be awesome right here. So got the tune-up in it for the next round. The car ended up going 176. Uh, that pass, so 175, almost 176. 166 the first pass, so put another couple pounds of boost on the gate uh, and a little bit of timing. Uh, I like the, actually I leaned out there, fuel left the timing alone because I like where the timing's at. So that's where we're gonna leave it for now and we're gonna go try to make another hit. Uh, they're kind of transitioning, a car hit the wall unfortunately, so they're kind of transitioning I think into qualifying now. So this will be our first qualifying pass. So hopefully we can be in the near 180 range for this qualifier. It's uh, doing an interview for 1320 right now, so I'm sure a feature video, hopefully if we do good with the car, we can get a feature video from 1320 on it. So uh, hopefully it all works out here for the event and we can get some coverage from these guys. They uh, always do some awesome videos, so it's always a bucket list item to get your car in a 1320 video for sure. In the land of GTRs and Corvettes, we have a uh, 61 Buick. It's pretty funny with all the cars around here and are all the different things. Flags, that not obvious. Our car stands out pretty crazy. But, uh, lots of GTRs, Supras, quite a few Vipers. Uh, they were shut down for quite a while. Somebody hit the wall, and then somebody went into the sand trap. Uh, Viper hit the wall, and then a Lambo hit the sand trap. So we're uh, getting ready to go now for our first qualifier. Seventy-four. 
on that pass we ended up going 174 started a little late in the lanes or uh, like in the uh, area they have the cone for the start of the qualifying kind of at the end of it so it kind of shortens it up a little bit but it did make 18 pounds of boost at the very end of the track so we went ahead and ramped that in sooner and added another four on top so it should make low 20s here so keep our fingers crossed everything goes good and it'll go hopefully in the 180 range that will hopefully put us into that qualifying area we really don't know what the qualifying number is right now so we're just trying to go as fast as we can so we can get qualified So we're making progress. Yeah, we're this close. This close to 180, huh? This close. It's all right. It's all we're right. Uh, qualified. I looked at the ladder. We were like 30 something. And after that, if nobody else really improves, we'll leapfrog like 15 people just off that mile an hour right there. So we're in the top, like top mid of the field, like Six, mid of everybody here. No. Oh, we're 30. Up. We'd just be below that. Oh, okay. So we'd be just below the top 16. I'll look at the uh, qualifying sheet. It's nice. on my phone. But we're getting close. The it's next pass, cool hopefully layout. we can go 180. All right, guys, so after that pass, we went 179 miles an hour, so close to 180. We're getting there, but uh, we decided to call it today. I looked at it, we were qualified like 39, I believe. Um, so hopefully we actually moved up, but that should put us in a fair spot to where at least we qualify for tomorrow. Then we'll just have to base on if we need to put a lot more in it, depending on where we fall in the ladder. So it's gonna be an interesting day tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go find out hopefully right now where we ended up qualifying so we know what the ladder looks like for tomorrow. I guess it'll be posted online. That's how they do it too. So uh, if not, guys, that is it for today. All right, guys, day number two here at Texas 2K. A little bit cooler, so good air for good power. We're going to get the, uh, we got the car already out. We got it warmed up, getting ready to go. But uh, here today, they're doing a round of drag race qualifying first. And then we go into round one of elimination. So we ended up getting paired up with like the number... 14 car i believe uh we're the number 14 i think we got paired up with the number three car in our class in the whole class uh there's like a five to six mile an hour difference between the 16 cars in our field uh and then this is where we can go five mile an hour than the fastest person so we can go up to 195 today in our, in our class uh, which would take us quite a bit to get there anyway but that's what we're going to do so we're uh, going to put a little bit more in the tune-up and hopefully at least go the 184, I think is what our competitor is. Uh, get there close, hopefully have a little bit more than him. And then hopefully we also get him on the tree and win first round. And then we can keep playing with the tune-up and trying to go faster to hopefully get up to that 190-ish mark if all goes well today. Uh, so we just got to see and get through first round. All right, guys, so for the plan of putting more than 25 pounds of boost in the car, we ended up swapping out the plugs from eights to tens so then throughout the day if we decide to turn it up even more we have the correct plug in the car so we just want to make sure that we don't have too hot of a plug in there so we went ahead and put the coldest plug we got in it uh, so we got the most option to turn up the boost and still be safe with the plug all right guys so we're headed up for round one of eliminations we're going to see uh how it goes put a tune up in it and hope that it's a good enough one for uh to win it to put us into round two so we're gonna head up there right now. All right, check this out. Lambo, GTR, GTR, yeah, Lambo, Lambo, Racing, GTR, round number one. Lambo. Oh, yeah. The viewer is coming up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Round one of the eliminations. We get to set the pace. We're racing the light Viper over here. It's a twin turbo car. It went 184 mile an hour yesterday. So we gotta at least be above that. We'll see what happens. Uh, it's also just like drag racing. You can possibly get a jump on the tree if you're on the light. So hopefully we can get this first round win and move on to round two.
86 miles an hour, round one. Gonna go get the car ready for round number two now. We uh, put a tune-up in it to hopefully go near 185 or 186. Didn't see altitude down here today. It's like 500 feet below, below sea level. So we'll go back, look it down real quick. We gotta ice the car and get it back up there. Jason Miller says it's safe. We'll keep running. <laughs> so we could plan that one just. That was such a funny map there, too. I mean, this, you're going to have a lot of funny maps. Right, right. And that's it. It's a Yeah, a lot of Yeah, a lot of them I look at her like, oh, okay. They're like, all okay. right. Well, I'm still in the same class as you, so. Yeah. Don't, don't take a mic. Yeah. <laughs> Jason's just making sure there's nothing on the track. That's why we have spot. All right, so after the third or fourth rain delay now, we are headed up for round two of the eliminations. Ended up going 100 and almost 87 miles an hour on that one, so we are super excited. We're just gonna leave the tune up where it is. Unfortunately, we gotta race our buddy, Steve Tasca from Colorado and his GTR. Uh, it's gonna be a really close race, but it sucks that in round two, you gotta race somebody else that's from home that we've been pitting with all week and all that, but that's racing, that's how it goes. So hopefully we do good against him. We can keep going on. So we have not changed the tune up at all. We're gonna leave that one in it because it went almost 187. So if it goes any faster than 189, we could get kicked out. We'd be we'd lose. Um, so and we're at the end of the run, like the starting portion. So um, we're gonna see how it goes, and we'll try to do our uh, best. Because if we started early and we're on it, it might actually go 189. So we can't really throw much more at it with hopes of not going over. Guys, right, here we go. Round number two, Steve Tasker from Colorado. Our buddy is in the, uh, gonna be the right lane. We're gonna set the pace in the left lane. And we'll see how this goes. Unfortunately, that's how it goes for us, uh, but how much happier can you be that the car almost went 190 mile an hour on the seventh pass ever on the car? Sucks that we lose, that's part of it, but that's not really what we came down for. We came down to just get the best speed on the car that we could, so super happy with that. No rush getting back to the uh, trailer. The battery died on the car, so it, it kind of started just a little goofy the first time, so we got to do the old foot and push here. It's gonna all right guys, so at the very top of the run, the car ended up making right at 26.3 pounds of boost. Otherwise, most of the pass, like out through here, it uh, was making 25.3, so it made just a hair more boost on that pass, look like. Uh, pretty conservative timing and decent air fuel, but still I would say that's pretty conservative. And the car ended up going 190 mile an hour, pretty much one. 89.7 miles per hour it's cold air dropped probably got better started a little bit early on that pass but we are getting the car loaded up now and getting ready to head back to colorado so we can get ready for the next half mile event so hopefully we can put this thing in the 200 mile per hour range in the half everyone so we are back in colorado we're going to unload the buick get it back in the shop but all is well the car is uh doing good still pulled itself in the trailer and pulled it out but pretty fun event in texas 2k we ended up leaving not hanging out for the drag race portion because it's kind of cold down there 
So uh, we're back here and it ended up going 189, almost 190 miles an hour. So we can't wait to get to the next event and see how we do there. So make sure you guys like, subscribe and share so we can bring you more content of Project 200 as well as everything else that we're messing with. See you guys.